of you. Mark, let me start with you. You're the author of the report. Uh, it's, it focuses on so-called patriot groups, which you describe as conspiracy-minded, anti-government, and on the radical right. Now, back in 2012, that was what the study uh, counted, uh, you looked at 1,360 so-called patriot groups on the radical right, an increase of 813% since 2008, right before President Obama took office. But lots of questions are coming up today, uh, Mark, about how you define these groups. Give me some sense of how you define these patriot uh, extremist uh, right-wing groups. Sure, Ellie. Uh, what the groups are are the very same groups that we all used to call the militia groups back in the 1990s. Uh, they more normally describe themselves as patriot organizations uh, or Christian patriot organizations. You know, essentially what holds these groups together, what kind of makes them a movement, uh, is that they all subscribe to a conspiracy theory which goes more or less as follows. Uh, they believe that the federal government uh, has a secret plan to impose martial law in this country, uh, very likely with the aid of foreign troops, perhaps UN blue helmets, uh, that the government will then come in and take all guns away from all American citizens, uh, those who resist will be thrown into concentration camps that either are now being built or already have been built uh, by FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and ultimately the United States will be forced into some kind of one world socialistic government, what's often called the New World Order. Right. Uh, that's really what ties these groups together, and our, our listings of these groups uh, are based strictly on ideology. It's not a matter of uh, criminality or violence or some kind of assessment along those lines. All right.